We are now at the DFKI Robotic Innovation Center in Bremen. In September 2020, we conduct robotic touch with some project partners of the project ProAct Outdoor. ProAct is a space robotics project for planetary applications. The whole objective of ProAct is for robots to work cooperatively to set up a future lunar base. At the moment, we are in Bremen at DFKI with the team to integrate and test the robots together, especially with the rover guidance and the perception modules. And right now we are doing tests by the background here to acquire data and process that afterwards to perform operations. With the ProAct, the DFKI is responsible to provide Mentis. Mantis is a six-legged walking robot which has the ability to lift up its upper body in order to perform dual arm manipulation tasks. One part of DFKI and ProAct is also to provide the simulation. The simulation is very important in early development stages in order to support a joint development. So every project partner has the possibility to interface the robots before actually being here in Bremen. Here we have Veles, a mobile platform made by Piapspace. It is a six-wheeled mobile robot, highly off-road capable, with also high payload capabilities. It can tow up to 200 kilograms on the back of the robot, but also it will be able to manipulate objects of around 20 kilograms that will be attached to the gripper that will be mounted on a seven degrees of freedom robotic arm, which will be mounted here in the front of the robot. Uh, currently, the robotic arm is being integrated in our laboratory and will be finished by the final integration in the product project. The main task of the robots first will be to manipulate with the Mantis robot and together be able to assembly, unload various uh, different IS3 mockups, such as the ones you can see in the background. To the left, just to avoid the stone. Yeah, straight ahead. What's going to require that the stone is in the field of the field over. In order to integrate Mantis into a multi robot scenario, we had to develop some extensions to Mantis. For example, the grippers were redesigned in order to support locomotion as well as manipulation capabilities at the same time. In addition, we integrated new hardware like the ICU from TAS UK to pre-process the stereo camera images, as well as a new onboard computer for the other software of the project partners like the AstroCross framework and the Ergo manipulation and pass plan. Velas will also be used for grunt modifications uh, with its greater blade mounted in the front and also with the shovel mounted uh, at the end of the robotic arm. The robots cooperate both logically and physically. Now in terms of logical cooperation, they are about task negotiation, allocation by negotiation. So essentially uh, to address areas such as exploring an area and to build a map of a large area with multiple robots. In terms of physical cooperation, we talk about uh, robots working together to unload a module from the lander, transport that to a particular location and assemble that together. The original plan was to conduct the final test with all three involved robotic systems on Lanzarote. Due to the corona pandemic, we were not able to perform the test on Lanzarote. The robot system, Vela, Mantis and the mobile gantry were at the Native Institute in Poland, Germany and Spain. We from the FKI were with Mantis in the specially built that field with Gondolite in the Space Exploration Hall in Bremen. The project partners were connected with Mantis via the Internet Collection. One test scenario was, for example, that Mantis had to detect the marker on the mock-up.
After the successful project completion, we hope that we can perform future tests together with all the systems on one place.